Hello beautifuls and welcome back. This week you are coming along with me as I tackle a refresh of my family room. Not just with decor, we are going to do a faux German schmear on my fireplace as well as paint my accent walls. I did this technique on my front room fireplace and loved it so much that I decided to do it in this room as well. As you can see, I am just clearing out all of the furniture and my wall hangings from this space so I have plenty of room to work and refresh this space. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Shanna and I am a mom to four teenage and above daughters. I have been a stay-at-home mom for over 20 years and here on my channel we tackle cleaning and organizing and DIY projects and just basic mom life stuff. You gain all of the knowledge I've learned over the past 20 years. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below and join our tribe as we encourage each other to be the best moms and housewives we can be. I've cleared out most of the items in the space. You can see I struggled with Blessed a little bit. I had it up with 3M hooks and it tore the drywall a little bit. So I'm just going in and filling in those areas and any nail holes that I had. And I'm gonna let that dry while I work on the fireplace. So this is what it looks like before. Yes, there's a crack, we have to have it repaired. It's probably not gonna happen till next year, but I am still pushing forward with my little refresh of this space. It's pretty, it's just, it, it's dirty, it's dated. It just needed to be brightened up. These are the items that I used to achieve the faux German schmear you're going to see me do. Yes, that is chalk paint. The only thing not pictured is you need a bunch of rags. So I decided to use the Rust-Oleum chalk paint. This is in linen white. Any chalk paint will work. It happened to be what I had on hand. This you need. You need some type of container because you're going to be mixing your chalk paint and water. I love this because there's a magnet on the side that my brush will stick to. But if you had a Tupperware container, that would work just as well. Next up is this three inch wide brush. And the bristles are very pliable. There's a lot of movement to it. It's not very stiff. You need a big, wide brush because we're gonna whitewash our bricks first. Second is a one inch brush. These were the cheap ones at Home Depot. I think they were like 59 cents or a dollar. It gets beat up. This one is what it looks like afterwards. And then this is actually a kitchen brush. It is a firm bristle round brush that you would use to clean grout or your bathtub. And then like I said, you're gonna need a bunch of rags. So to start, I have mixed equal parts of water and chalk paint to start. And as you saw, I tested an inconspicuous area that you wouldn't notice. I decided that it needed to be a little thinner and I had added a little bit more water. It's up to you how opaque you want this step to be. What I'm doing is I'm painting it on with my brush 
and then I am rubbing some of it off with my rags. This is where you definitely need the rags because you will go through quite a few of them. What's great is you can do this and leave it just like this, but I wanted more of that distressed look, so we will continue on after this, but just put some on and then take some off and just do this until you've covered all of the brick. Just be careful because where this is thinned, you will get some drips. I just kept an eye out and as soon as I saw them, I wiped them right up with my rag. I had no problems with it staining my hearth or my mantle down below. And then I am taping off my fireplace grate and my mantle because I don't want to get any of the whitewash or the chalk paint when we go in with the straight chalk paint on this. Probably should have done this before I did my top section, but beautifuls, how many of you get so excited about starting a project you just jump in? That is me. That and can we talk about how probably most of us have that DIY home improvement outfit? You know, the one it's the jeans that are not quite the best fitting, it's a t shirt that's covered in paint and stains. And whenever you put it on, your family knows you're ready to get down to business. Lately, my family sees me in this shirt in this outfit, and they're like, Oh, what is she painting now? So I'm just continuing on, continuing on whitewashing the rest of the fireplace. And this is what it looks like with just the whitewash. You can see how much it brightened up the brick just doing this. If this is all you do, it's going to completely refresh an older brick face. But I wanted a little bit more. So at this point, I am taking straight chalk paint and that little one inch brush and I am going in just the grout lines just in between each of the bricks I'm painting it on and then I am taking that kitchen brush and I am working it in to the grout and to the edges of the brick so that way it's heavier on the outside edges and it's a little bit lighter towards the middle of the brick I'm doing a little bit smaller sections with this because I don't want that paint to dry or set. I really want to be able to work it in as it's still wet. So I've zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see this technique. You can see that I'm not overly precise. I am just getting it into those grout lines around the bricks and I, I'm not being too careful because it's going to go up on the bricks anyways. So I just work it in with that little brush and then I take the hard rounder brush and you can see it soften it out and really work it in. And I just go back and forth over them and I'm pushing the brush down as I go back and forth because I really want to work it into those lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my next section. So you can see I am doing smaller sections than I did with the whitewashing. Because like I said, I don't want that paint to start to dry. I want to really be able to work it in there. 
and this is why that little brush takes a beating getting in all of those lines you can see as I am doing the vertical lines I'm kind of rounding out the bottoms of them I want to have softer edges as opposed to hard just really harsh lines so I really want it to be concentrate on the outer corner and then fade as it goes into the middle of the bricks some bricks have more than others and I'm okay with that because we're actually gonna go in and add more which is what you see here it's completely done with the grout I am just going in and putting chalk paint in different sections and rubbing it in with that hard kitchen cleaning brush and then I'll step back and I'll look and I'll decide where else I want to add some more you don't have to do this step like I said I just wanted that more distressed look this is the finished product it looks so good especially in person it brought life to this fireplace that was just dated and real dark and a little bit dreary I love this so much the transformation in my family room and my front room where I have done this is amazing so now on to my accent walls I went back and forth with colors and I decided on this really beautiful light blue this is paint from Home Depot and it is part of their Bare Ultra line. I believe it's the middle of the three that they offer. I chose to do it in satin and the color is blue chalk. This is one coat. Can we talk about how amazing this paint was? I did two coats overall and it covered amazingly. So here is the finished product of my family room refresh. I love how this turned out. It is so bright and cheery. It gives almost a coastal vibe, which makes me miss Maine, which is where I grew up. The blue is stunning, and I love our family portrait against it. I think it just pops. And my fireplace, I am so in love with this. I got the inspiration for the mantle from Amy Fritz. If you don't follow her, you need to. She is absolutely amazing. And she had a mantle done very similar to this and I just loved it. It's one of my favorite songs. So I just had to recreate it. And then what you didn't see was I repainted this dresser. It was an olive green and we mounted the TV. And then I just picked up some inexpensive decor from Big Lots. All of this came from Big Lots except for the X's and O's. That came from Hobby Lobby. I have a cord keeper coming to hide those cords. It's supposed to come in the next two weeks from Amazon. But I'm loving the way this works in the room with that blue wall. It's Annie Sloan chalk paint and it is an old violet. Here's one more look at the room. I hope this inspires you to tackle those DIY projects in your house. If you do, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you are up to. And until next week, beautifuls, stay motivated and have a great week.